Hello, my name is Paul Kulchenko, and this video is a demonstration of Corona integration debugging and live coding support in the Zero Brain Studio development environment for Lua. And this is how it works. I will use one of the samples that come with Corona SDK. Zero Brain Studio provides Corona integration, which you need to enable by going to Project, Blue Interpreter, and selecting Corona from the list. So now we should be able to run this application by going to Project run and you can see it's a simple application that shows a bouncing ball to debug your script you need to add this line to it uh, there are a few more lines that will be important when we show live coding but this one line should be sufficient to enable debugging and now you can let's say we put a breakpoint somewhere in the code for example, when, let's say when the ball changes its y direction. So we can now go to start debugging. The application starts. And when the ball touches the boundary, you can see that breakpoint has been activated here. So what we now can do is step through the code by going to project step we can inspect the variables for example we can look at the values of x pose and y pose we can also see these parameters and the ball class we can look at the stack for example this is our animate function it shows all the local variables and the tables can be expanded and we can also look at the remote console. For example, we can check the values of x and y, and x pose and y pose. And we can also modify them. Let's say we put the ball at 100 and 100 instead of the current values. And also notice that the values have changed in the stack view because they are indeed updated in the application. So now we can continue the execution. And you saw the ball jump to another location and now it touches another boundary. So it can continue its execution. And the breakpoint is again activated. And so on. We can disable breakpoint. We can break the app and then continue its execution stepping through this code. So let's stop this application and look at something else. Uh, this Corona integration also provides a way to modify some of the values while your application is still running. So this is called Scratchpad and we can run this application as Scratchpad. When the application is started, you'll notice that it's executed in a regular way but some of the values in the application have now sliders on them. So you can modify the values directly. Like we can modify Y speed of the ball to make it run slower or faster. But we can also do it dynamically. Like for example, we can change the color of the background. And you can see the application the changes are reflected in the application right away. We can also change the fill color to change the color of the ball. We can make it more transparent, less transparent. We can change its speed to make it run faster or slower or backwards. So this gives you an ability to modify some of the values while the code is still running, and you can see the immediate effect of those changes on your application. You can also stop the execution, switch to remote console, and execute some of the commands. Like, for example, you can look at uh, the values of global variables. For example, look at the ball. You can change some of the values, and when you're done changing, you can continue its execution. It will continue being executed. And when you're done, you can just close this application.
So this ability, this integration gives you an easy way to suspend your program, inspect the values, modify them as needed, continue the execution, but it also provides a way to modify some of the values and see the effect of those changes while your application is running. Go to Zero Brain Studio project page and give it a try. Thank you.